Hello my friends, my name is Ragnarok, and I am sorry for the last video being no fucking nothing, just nothing, okay? It was nothing. It was literally nothing, um, <laughs> I'm sorry that there was no, uh, sound, uh, like, you know, like, I mean, uh, my voice, there's nothing at all, I'm sorry, but I fixed up a few problems, but saving changed my position, which allows me again to record whenever I want, which is really good for me, especially good for me. Uh, maybe also for you, for some of you who are actually watching. And, um, and don't ask me why I'm always moving my head to the right. I always think that someone goes into my room, but it's not true. And I'm like, motherfucker. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> uh, we are back. I think we were for that little weird creature. Why did it just open my steam? Okay. Yeah. Thing is, it's not a change. I also changed up some, a few programs, actually. I changed up, uh... That program that I was recording my face with, and that's a panther, so I forgot. Yeah. yeah run, run, Rose, run. So I, I changed my program, which records my camera, which is actually really, really good, because I needed that. Because I was using a program called Webcam Max, which sadly makes me have a watermark on my camera. So, for the question why, like, sometimes the, uh, the picture was too small on my face, it's because of that. I had to. Someone like put away right the camera. Slow now. Okay. <laughs> so I had like to move out the picture, so to speak, of uh, uh, the picture, the fucking uh, the uh, slot with my camera. So or I don't really know how to really pronounce it properly. Let's just take all this. Let's continue going to the mission we are at. So, that's that. I changed my position, which is nice, because I finally cleaned my room. Like, holy shit, I just, I just found so much dirt in my room. I did not even know about. I was I was just surprised a lot, because, like, what the hell? Where did you come from, dirt? So, that is nice. The only thing I do need to change... Uh, well, I mean, I changed already. I, not changed, but I fixed a little bit the issue with the... Fucking hell, I think someone goes into my room, but that's not true. So I changed a little bit, uh, you fix a uh, kind of ish my uh, issue with the um, with the mic, but that's just an editing issue. So you know, I still need prob I probably need a new headset with a new mic. Uh, but one thing I aim right now for is a new. Uh, oh God, these things. Uh, the thing I'm aiming for right now is is probably a new camera, because that's the thing I do need. Because I, the, this picture right now has the smallest amount of pixel. Guests, never a good omen. It gets 320 on 280 or something, which is not good at all. And okay, let's just get out. What the fuck? What the way is? Where are you running off, huh? There we go. Fuck. Oh, holy shit! These things are awesome! Fucked. Bam. Are these some like special dogs? Cause these are awesome. <laughs> okay, let me meditate for one hour. Dwarf spirit. Yep. All right. So let's take this. Uh, let's go again to the bestiary. And uh, what were we? Fi what were we fighting? The piece of oh, first conics, elemental, hybrid, and sister Vampire, Bruxa, that laugh. Bruxa of Cork. Oh god. Why Bruxa has to be just like that? Oh, these are all me. Yeah, they do look like. Okay, yeah, we were fighting. No, not him. Race the White Lady, Plague, Pantan, Noon Race, Night Race, Jenny or Woods. Uh, I forgot what we were supposed to fight. Shaman from the Emperor of. Nin what the fuck? Oh yeah, it was that thing. I forgot what we were supposed to fight, I'll be honest with you. I kind of forgot about that. Oops. I like these, the Woodland Spirits. Those are awesome. Kernan. Oh yeah, Lessons. They're called Lessons. And What were we supposed to fight? Wasn't it like a spirit or something? Was, uh... Wait a minute, let me go to the mission. Uh, Oberon. Mm -hmm. 
quest. Here we go. Uh, look for white. We need a white. Something white. Sounds racist. <laughs> nah, it's not. Elementa. Was it an Elementa? No, it was. Necrophage. So, oh yeah, spotted white. That's what we're fighting. Okay, so we need necrophage oils, igni, and irden, or quen. Okay, so necrophage oil. Let me go to my inventory. And here I have the superior one. All right, we're good to go. Let's go. This reminds me. Okay, now this. Hmm? Strange. Get a sense that the spoons are beating out some kind of rhythm, a message, trying to tell me something. Oh damn! This reminds me a lot of the previous DLC, the uh, Stone of Hearts, Hearthstone. I don't remember. <laughs> Hearthstone. I, don't know, I always thought of that fucking Blizzard game when I heard uh, Heart of Stone or something. The, like the mansion itself kind of reminds me of that house here, you know? Fuck, I remember the boss. It was so difficult. With a shovel. The shovel was shit in your hands. Oh, mostly because the best things are usually the weapon of... Oh, is that? Okay, good to know. That's poison. That's poison. That's not good at all. Oh, look at that. Cutscene. Fucking spoons. I just noticed that my frame rate is better now too, which is funny actually. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again. The fuck is this language? How can you read it, Geralt? Sounds like a curse, alright. Geralt, please, how do you read this? Teach me. They hear all this about. Oh god, is this, is this basically the same sh- Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Is this literally the same shit written everywhere? That's creepy. That's fucking creepy. That's creepy. A pigsty. Need to search it thoroughly. Find a way to collect some white Ugh. saliva. Oh, is that a spoon? White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Okay, another one. Spoon's incredible. The craftsmanship. Must have graced our rich man's <laughs> table. Spoon is incredible! <gasps> oh my god! Like, come on, man. For real. Open. What do we have here? All of a sudden, something jumps out. Ooh, that's a book. Staying diary. Read it. There's a like dizzy spell, so I've. Oh, can do witchcraft and sorcery. I have to visit the herbalist. This dizziness has not gone away. Worst of all, it's been enjoined by pain so strong that at time I cannot see. Another herbalist, a repulsive old crone, looked at me like she had seen a monster. She gave me uh, some cursed mixture that I have to drink twice a day. It's not helping at all. Today, like every day, I look in the mirror and I was lost for words. I usually check that I don't have any wrinkles or bags under my eyes. But today, there are no wrinkles, but I'd rather that. I'd rather they were. I have hair growing out of my bre breasts. It's horrible. I, it's got. It's got to be because of those damn herbs. I went to the herbalist to smash her in the face, but her chambers were empty. She must have known that what would happen to me and let and collected it. Uh, I'm guessing that's a woman because chest hair for men is normal. Okay, my family is starting to suspect something. Although I'm cutting the hair back, which is growing back faster and faster. I tried to put the idea out of my head, but I can't hold it back any longer. Maybe it wasn't the herbs that have led me to this, but a curse placed upon me by an old beggar whom I had to chase off one time. After find out, I want to hire someone who won't find a herbalist. Another thing, it's going hard to ride. Loneliness, no family. Eat, I want to eat. Not a good spoon. Empty spoons, nothing. Eat, it hurts. Mirror, lies, no. Ah! Jeez, this is creepy. Poor girl. Realized she was changing into a monster. Recorded it in her diary. Poignant. That's sad. That's creepy and sad, man. Poor girl. Oh, god, frame rate. Okay, uh. I have a feeling. Oh, what's that? Smashed mirror. 
As if someone couldn't stand to look at themselves. The monster. Journals. I figured this. I mean, if I would look at the mirror and all of a sudden I would be a monster, which is an ugly one considering necrophages are. Okay, that's a lot of spoons. That's a lot of spoons. I don't need uh, that many spoons. If I would look at myself in the mirror and see myself become a monster, I would be creeped out too. Jesus, I frame rate a little bit here. No spoon you have shall sink to you. Whatever lives here treated them literally. Still searching for the right spoon. What would be the right spoon? Should I... Wait, maybe I do have to actually loot those spoons. Let me go back to the spoons. Maybe I have to loot them. Maybe there's something special if I get to all of them. I don't know. I'll, I'll maybe not, then if not, then I'll just sell it. Doesn't matter. Wait, right, there's something here. Okay, wait, that's the cellar. Let's not go into the cellar yet. Okay, wait, we have something here. Spoon, pretty ordinary. Maybe a little old. Oh. Okay, that's three skeletons. Skeletons. You know, came here willingly. This have anything to do with the curse? I'm <coughs> with you at your uh, it makes sense. I'm sorry, guys. I am. Back. Uh, fuck. I'm sorry. My mom called. I had to help her, and then I was eating. Oh damn. Right on, bit right off. Teeth all knocked out. Somebody tried to force feed him. That's probably the same thing. None shall uh. sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection. Jesus. There. No claw or fang marks. Probably choked to death. This house is creepy as fuck. Woman's name scratched into this wooden spoon. <laughs> Romantic. Oh, Geralt. King letter. Breathe. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> you mean your master lives here? I know you track outlaws for pay. It's an usual assignment for you. No, doubt you wonder why I have drawn you out here and what cannot meet in person. You see, in my present situation, any kind of meeting is very risky. Not so much for me. As for the person with who I'm, whom I meet, for <clears throat> am, am I am afflicted by a curse, or uh, or as I hope, and why I have turned to you. Uh, the side effects of medicine given to me some time ago by a herbalist. Uh, Marlena, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> this video is now going too long, and I am. I hope that my PC still has some place. And okay, so let's go down the hall or to, to the cellar to be more exact. Okay, did I just? Oh my god! This is so fucking creepy, man. Actually, does seem like a white slayer. Bit atypical, but still. Cauldron should be somewhere around here. Another spoon. Yep, just as normal as the last Old one. spoon. Here he is. Did, do you hear that? That's great. <clears throat> White's obsessed. A real collector. Thoroughbred. Cauldron I was looking for. White's not particularly tidy. What do we have? Ah, uh, great, great green spoon. Pretty ordinary. Maybe a little. Hmm. <coughs> Some Table set. White who lives here is getting ready for oh, some sort of feast. White that lives here, definitely afflicted by a curse, and it's been trying desperately to Aww. avoid it. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. We just need some brew. I'm afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron. Another spoon. <laughs> yep, just as normal as Where the last one. Where do I hide? I think you have a good view on the cauldron too. Where the hell can I hide here? Sun Duke, oh that's nice, thank you. I don't know where. I oh wait. Can I hide here? Oh fuck. Eh. C can I hide here? I mean, I can have a good look. 
from here, right? I mean, where else? Oh, I'm stupid. <coughs> That's what they mean by hiding. I'm just a big old dumb dumb. Girl, what you doing there? Loading. Oh, gee. Well, this is creepy. Ugh. Uh. Our spoon, not the, not a normal spoon, but oh, let's live the curse. Actually, let's try to live the curse. I'm curious. Fuck. That's a new one. Oh god. I'm not gonna hurt you. Wanna help? Still in the stand, really? I've seen the words of the curse on the walls. Think I know how to lift it. Oh, I'm, I'm really interested right now. Is he also gonna... Girl, please. You tried to bring folk here. Convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. Oh, God. I wonder when you have this one reason you don't want to be a witcher. <laughs> Just need a bit for Regis. A white brew. And now we'll tend to you. Huh. Uh. Okay, wait, 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 wait. The curse exact warning. Need to get this right. Words of the Curse, curse were, None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. She's using spoons. So let's, let's swap spoons. Not let's eat. Not using the spoons. Cause like I don't want to Google this one because when my normal like when I was playing normal Witcher I was using like Googling what would be the better answer how to correct it because of like you know some missions needed that because to advance the story right but the one thing I'm scared here because I would like to help her and I'm afraid if I'll try something uh, like if I throw one of these right and it would be not incorrect uh, I am afraid that I will fail so I, I don't want to check it but I want to like I want to figure it out let's hear it again. Okay, I think I, I think it's the third one. Yeah, I think it should be the not using a spoon because like if no spoon shall say to you, not even swapping spoons then it won't make sense, right? Yeah. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Get no spoons, get no spoons, alright. No spoons. Oh, Geralt. I, I mean, I understand that he is a fucking witcher now. Oh. Oh. Open your eyes. You need to see your likeness. Oh sh! Oh, look at the toxic. Oh god! Look at the fucking level of toxicity in him. Oh god, Geralt! Oh, look at him! Jesus, he looks ugly. Okay, now he's looking fine. Think it worked? Just not quite. 
quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. Won't be hard to find given its stench. Where did he go? They come back, white. Optional. Follow the stench from the report. Yeah, that's. No, no, I want to follow. I want to follow. I'm curious. Bitch! Who do you think you are? Okay, where? Where? There. Oh god, where is it even running? Another one of these. Shoot! Shoot! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whirlwind attack, motherfucker! Yeah! A roach. Motherfucker! You little son of a bitch. I'm gonna kill you, ass. Come here. Come here, Matt. Come here. Come here. Bam! Alright. Stench. Pick up the stench. Right there we gotta go. Stop howling, you cool creatures actually <gasps> it worked Shh, easy not gonna hurt you eat I, I must eat hey it's a grandma now it was that Christmas a long time ago Someplace safe. This is awesome. <laughs> Horo Bianco. Wait, is that. So I took her by the hand and led her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. I'm deeply pleased, finally, to make your acquaintance, sir. Though I do regret the specific circumstances. In all the commotion, I fear I neglected to introduce myself. I'm Barnabas Basil Folti, and by order of the Duchess, I am to serve as your major domo at Corfu Oh yeah, that is his house, nice no. Barnabas Basil. Love to talk more, but got urgent matters to attend to. While I'm gone, please make sure she gets everything she needs. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred oh, years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? She was cursed. Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. <laughs> like, rather not going to it. I, I, wanted, I wanted, like, the full story, you know? Because I'm curious. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. 
Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find willing human company for a feast. I imagine so. But most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. Yeah, this place. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman, a truly colorful man of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, great, great... <laughs> great, 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 great <laughs> Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, never botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this Damn. estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. It's the sort of man he was, Mr. That's Bill. nice. Nah, it's all I know. <laughs> Thanks. Go there on. we go. Jorda. Grampus. Tasty. Mm, so mm, wonderful. You're welcome. You. Uh, we did good thing today. We did a really good thing. And I'm pretty sure our I should be closing right now my ep this episode considering Yeah, I was beer back for a long time, we did this thing and I should probably close on this here. So why am I okay. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, click the subscribe button to see more stuff. Ro uh, there's something also coming up soon. Maybe tomorrow. Because I'm thinking of re rescheduling right now. So uh, leave any comments of what you wish to see me play. I'll, I'll gladly play it. Re write what you would like to see more. Maybe maybe some lol. Because uh, I start playing it more on the English server. Well, English. The Europe server more to be precise with my friend uh, and uh, maybe you want to see some smite more because I'm actually excited for tomorrow Kerr Nuno so maybe I'll record him and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye